Welcome back guys, I'm excited to have you here um, because today we're going to look at another radio from the new Motorola Talk About range. Um, I recently did a budget version and today I have a little bit more upscale. Not sure whether I really should call it upscale, but a little bit more premium kind of a Motorola Talk About product. And it's the Motorola T82 Extreme. And please pay attention, um, as far as I saw that, the T82 has two variants, just the normal version and then the extreme version. And the difference with the extreme version is that it uh, adds this uh, waterproofing to, uh, of the IP4 standard. Uh, excuse me, not waterproof. I mean, it says waterproof, but I, I think it's not actually waterproof because IP4 rating is a little bit too low but we can look this up uh, as well. And I can also write the different IP standards in the description below. That'd be kind of interesting to see how much uh, protection you get uh, from the elements you get with this particular model. I mean, what I uh, immediately like is that it comes in this kind of carrying case. Um, I think this is really super useful um, if you want to uh, carry it around, if you want to transport it or after you use it, you put it back in the box so stuff stays, stays together. So that's a kind of really like a plus of value added. And on the bottom, I already see uh, all the contents that, that are in here. So that's really useful. You can take all this stuff and put it into that box and uh, carry it around very, very easily when you go hiking or something like that. Like I said, uh, the PMR446 are license-free radios and uh, you don't need to be ham radio operator um, has 16 channels and the only downside with pmr446 unfortunately is at least here in europe um, that you have a limitation by law that they only have uh, 0.5 a half a watt of output power and obviously if it says 10 kilometers range or a certain uh, a mi a miles uh, of range that's really under ideal circumstances if you have open pastures, no obstructions. Otherwise, the relatively low output power it fairly quickly is sucked up or better say, uh, I should better say absorbed by uh, the stuff in the environment. There are trees, vegetation, housing. So uh, don't expect to get a huge range out, out of those. Uh, I personally always like to say they're for in and around the house. And um, to after I do the unboxing, and show you what's inside the package. I'm in part three, I'm gonna go outside and do the range test. I'm gonna go to some set distances. And because a viewer recently asked me, oh, the distance points you usually go, they are only so far. Uh, why did you go a little bit further? Um, with those radios, I'm also gonna go a little bit further today uh, to see whether we have a reception if I go beyond my normal uh, distance points in the range test. And then in part four, I'm gonna do a quick summary and conclusion. So without further ado, guys, uh, I'm really curious to see what's inside this uh, handy carrying case. Uh, let's jump to part two. Let's do the unboxing, guys, let's get rolling. So guys, then I'm very excited to have a closer look at the Motorola talk about uh, T82 uh, walkie talkies. Like I mentioned earlier, um, those are not my first uh, Motorola radios. So uh, what I'm really especially curious is um, to compare them to the previous generation, the TLKR, the talkabouts, they are the newer, newer ones. So I'm particularly interested to see what are the changes there. So one thing I uh, always like about, uh, no matter whether it's the old generation or the new one, uh, what I like about the uh, uh, more expensive models is that they come usually with much more accessories and the carrying case is just a great example for that because um, when you don't use the radios, you can put them back into the carrying case and all your stuff stays night, uh, nice, uh, nice and tidy. Um, as you can see, there's a separate compartment for the manual and the batteries. And what we're gonna do right now is have a little bit of a closer look uh, what's inside here and uh, compare that to the previous generation. So why don't we look at the radio itself first. Um, as you can see, there are like these two pouches here where um, you can uh, safely always store the radios when they are not in use. I think this is a really uh, great idea. So let's give you a little bit of a close-up shot so that you can see uh, what the design looks like. 
Um, one of the major themes uh, as compared to the older Motorola's is that the T82 Extreme, as you can see here, uh, at first glance, if they are turned off, it, it almost looks like as if they don't have a display. I mean, uh, I mean I'm, I'm really stunned. I mean, this is like a really uh, interesting design concept. With the old one, you have this display right here. And as you can see, if I turn it on, it is backlit. Uh, cheaper models usually didn't have the backlit display. So that's something to keep in mind. And um, we're gonna put in the battery here. Uh, just in a second and then I'm going to show you the display here. You see also the navigation is a little bit uh, different the way this is laid out. So and yeah on the back um, that's also a major difference. Um, here you had to use a coin to get to the battery compartment and here it's just a uh, you just flip that switch and you can take uh, the back portion off and access the battery compartment. So um, why don't we just quickly go to the included accessories and have a closer look at the batteries. Um, here we have the power supply. It's probably not much to say about it other than um, that is one difference that I noticed immediately. Um, this is a, just a normal power supply with two uh, USB connectors. So it's like a Y, a y adapter and you can charge both phones. Uh, once you have to put in the battery on the side here. So, um, unfortunately, a docking station is not included with my set. Um, I'm not exactly sure as to how many different versions of this set are out there. There may be uh, sets that have a charging station, simply because if you look at the back, you see there are two charging points right here. So that's kind of similar. I guess if there are charging points, and there is a charging uh, a docking station available somewhere. Um, the thing that I like more about the older ones is that you just got the docking station uh, with the set. In fact, not only get with this, not only did I get uh, one docking station, I got two. So that was really useful because let's say you could use one docking station to charge the radios and you could use the second docking station to charge the replacement batteries because these these came with two batteries each, so you got a total of four batteries with the old T81 Motorola's and the new Motorola's, they only come with two. So uh, there you see right off the bat is somewhat of a difference, only two batteries, uh, no charging station. And with the old ones, you had four batteries and two charging stations. But uh, as you can see, the batteries are bigger. So a close side by side clearly shows uh, the new uh, Motorola's, they have 800 milliamp hour batteries, while the old ones just had 600. Um, so that's the difference. Let's take the batteries out and put them in and power up these radios. I'm really curious to see how that display looks. But before I forget, there's even more accessories in that uh, bag right here. So let's see what we can find. Whoops, a lot of stuff comes out. So you get two lanyards, that's pretty standard. Um, the lanyards are somewhat useful because you can just uh, take them, uh, put them around your uh, neck, so to speak. Um, there's like a clip here. You just clip that in and I'll have to push a little bit and then you can probably connect this to your radio somewhere here. And then it's always safe and secure if you're out and about. Um, then you have, we quick two headsets. The headsets are a little bit different also from the previous generation. The previous generation had like these security uh, security type headsets. Um, those are differently designed. Uh, as you can see here, that's the air earpiece connector. The wire seems to be uh, okay in length and the way it's put around your ear is different. And then that's the microphone. So that's directly to your mouth. The previous versions, they had uh, something like this, like a security more like a security style headset, um, which I think this is kind of nicer um, because uh, you have that security style earpiece. So uh, without the microphone right in front of your mouth, I think this is, looks a little bit odd if you have that in front of your mouth. Um, this is more inconspicuous and you have to push, you used to have the push and talk button right here. And if we look at the new version, um, I'm not even sure whether it has a push to talk button um, doesn't really look like it has one. So 
Personally, I like the headset of the older version a little bit better. So here we have the battery and the size wise, this looks like triple A and you see, uh, double A and you see this double A. So just make uh, sure this flap is pointed to the side and you put it up with the top side up. This is important for polarity, don't put it in the wrong way. And a quick push and it's uh, safe and secure. Let's put the back plate back on. Um, that's also like, um, I'm not sure how uh, much better this new mechanism is for durability wise. Obviously it's quicker and you don't need the coin. But if you're planning to take this out uh, a lot, I mean, if you plan to swap out the batteries in that compartment a lot, my guess would be the old version is probably a little bit more sturdier. At least that's my subjective impression. Guys, please correct me if I'm wrong. And then also the old version that they had like this rubberized uh, inlay, which I think is really great. If you're somewhere hiking or somewhere outside that uh, really has like a, it's, it doesn't feel nearly as slippery as this that that might be more slippery especially if you have moisture in your environment or your or your hands so uh but what i wanted to do is i wanted to quickly turn those on and see how, how this display looks i'm really curious and as you can see um we have a really nice display there so uh what i could do is maybe do a quick test turn the old one on put it on channel three then turn the new one on uh, put it on channel 3 also Which I push the menu button up once up twice and I quickly send and then I just uh, Push uh, use the push to talk and see whether we get a signal on the old one And it seems to work really well um, If I hold them next to each other, there's probably gonna be Oh No, it works just fine test one two test one two test one two Okay guys, um, they are definitely working well together. Um, I can test this in reverse as well. Test one, two, test one, two. Okay, that was probably the volume was a little bit loud. But guys, they work together. Uh, I really like the way this display looks on the new one. I mean, if you look, it's kind of fancy. Um, kind of really interesting design. So without further ado, we can go ahead and charge those up for the range test. And uh, one thing that I want to point out, um, while it says IP4 waterproof, I really have to look up again myself what uh, the IP4 waterproof means. Because let's see here at the side where you connect this USB charger. Not sure how well this shows, but I feel there's like a small gap. And let's say if water runs down here, I would guess it potentially could, uh, if it's enough water, uh, collect right here. So um, really, I'm not exactly sure uh, what this IP4 standard stands for. So I'm gonna look this up for you guys. Um, but just be aware. I mean, there are definitely. I wouldn't. I would be still be careful uh, when it comes exposing them to water, just in case. Because like, if you spend uh, money on a nice pair of radios such as this, then you wanna treat them carefully. Um, and yeah, that would be one point where I could imagine exposure because that doesn't seem to be super tight right here. But uh, let's charge those up. And again, I'm missing a little bit this uh, docking station that I had with the old uh, with the old Motorola's. That was really like uh, one thing that I really liked about the old ones. This is a little bit more clumsy and I suspect uh, if I want a docking station, I have to buy this extra, which again adds to the cost. Now granted, this uh, talk about T82 Extreme set was considerably cheaper than my previous model. But then again, in the previous model, I got two radios, two of these docking stations and four 600 milliamp hour batteries. Here I get no docking station and only two 800 milliamp hour batteries. So, um, and I also found it a little bit confusing. Uh, while this old set only had one version as far as I know, uh, this green version, uh, the Hunter edition had only one version. Um, there was a yellow one, but uh, I digress a little bit. Here, I think there were way more options. There was a normal T82, which didn't have the IP4 water rating. Then there's this extreme set, which has the water rating. 
And then there were also other combinations with these police style uh, push to talk. Uh, basically what I meant is this, um, that's a different brand, but I think there was also a version that had something like this included, which you could connect. But in any case, uh, before I talk any longer, the main point that I wanted to make is that was simpler because there was only one version and there are more different versions. So you go, it's a little bit more tricky to compare the different uh, offerings uh, with these newer generation ones. So I let this charge up uh, with the old ones. I let them charge up overnight because in the manual it said to let it charge a quite uh, long time. Yeah, I haven't read the manual, but I'm assuming it's kind of similar. So I let this charge up overnight and then tomorrow I go first thing in the morning i go outside and do the range test so i'm very excited to see will there be a quality difference uh will it be the same so um you might also want to check out the previous version of those um to hear the the range tests with the sound uh quality so guys uh, i'm very excited <laughs> let's get going with the range test finally test point number one of the motorola test point number one about 420 So guys, excellent. This concludes the range test of the Motorola talk about T82 walkie talkies. You have seen uh, in part two, in the unboxing part, every uh, thing that's inside the box. I showed you 
that instead of a charging station uh, with the previous uh, generation you got the charging st station and with the new newer talk about t82s you only get this uh, usb charger that has this uh, split i think guys you call it y split uh, i compared the headsets and showed you the lanyard showed you the radius itself told you that instead of 600 milliamp hours it has an 800 milliamp hour battery and then in part three we went outside did the range test and to my surprise there was also a little bit um not really rain but like you know when it's like a little bit guys house is called like mist some really really light rain just a little bit so that's what i tested this with and always keep in mind it has the ip4 water rating uh and weatherproof mm, it's definitely i wouldn't go outside with these radios in pouring rain uh, if the rain is really pouring down because like i told you there are like some uh nooks and crevices where i wouldn't be a hundred percent sure i mean if there's just very light rain um it probably is no big deal but if there's too much water it i guess it will eventually collect somehow and maybe get into the radio so make sure when buying a radio to look up these ip4 water ratings i can link this below and you just hop over to wikipedia and there usually is a list with the different uh, ratings and the higher the rating uh, the better protected from the elements your radios are but obviously not everybody needs a submersible radio so uh, for the majority of people ip4 is probably uh, good most of the time and yeah guys before i digress any further uh, range test wise um what i noticed is uh, i'm not sure really whether it was an error on my part and when you turn on the radio obviously you can select the volume maybe i turned the volume a little bit up too high and then when i was talking into the microphone i went a little bit too close and uh, talked too close into the microphone because when i came home and i looked at the range test footage i felt like the clarity uh, of the audio signal was uh, not as good as uh, compared to the previous version uh, but like i said guys this could also be partially due to me uh, being too close to the mic or turning up the volume and like a slightly a little bit too high um but uh, range wise um the, uh, the, the new motorola t82s performed uh equally so the lesson i learned uh, don't maybe don't turn a uh, crank up the volume all the way and don't uh, put the microphone too close to your mouth because my subjective impression is that that can deteriorate the sound uh, signal a little bit uh, but yeah guys this is just a test i'm doing here at home so i still have to figure out uh, the best uh, way to test this uh, the same under the same conditions ideally myself and uh, yeah it's gonna get better with every video that i make and i'm excited uh, you're here um, i'm convinced you learned something useful about how to pick a radio a pmr radio so um, if you want to compare other models just head over to my channel page look under the uh, radio section uh, there's a playlist where all the videos are in and uh, i see you as a subscriber and in the next video uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, awesome you're here. All the best to you. Take care guys. See you, see you soon. And because you just watched the product review of the Motorola T82 Extreme uh, walkie talkies uh, slash two-way radios, you might also be interested in discovering the black Retivis that I reviewed recently because these Retivis have some extra features that you can program via a USB cable and you can find a video for that on my channel as well and guys i'm really amazed about how many people have already subscribed to my channel because of the useful uh, product reviews and tutorials that i provide here you can subscribe right now as well uh, i see you as a subscriber on my channel and maybe even in one of my online courses take care